This teriyaki beef is one of those recipes that you can cook every single week or even every single day because the ingredients are very basic and the outcome is just very delicious. The recipe will leave you craving more once you try out this recipe. So we'll get started by making a teriyaki sauce and you'll find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below. So in a small bowl, you'll be adding in a quarter cup of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of white vinegar, crushed garlic and ginger, a quarter cup sugar, a quarter teaspoon black pepper, and a splash of water, that is a quarter cup. Using a spoon, you're going to mix in all the ingredients until fully combined, and then it's time to cook our beef. So over high flame, you're going to place a pot or a pressure cooker. Add in your meat in the pot, that is three quarter kg of beef that I've chopped up into cubes or cut into cubes <laughs> and then I'm going to be adding in half of the teriyaki sauce add in one cup water stir in adding in the teriyaki sauce while boiling or cooking your beef is going to add in so much flavor to the beef so i'm going to cover my pressure cooker by pressing down on the lid and then i'm going to be boiling my beef for around three to four whistles yes that is how i usually cook my beef and it's always tender This is after four whistles, so I'm going to manually remove the pressure in the cooker and then I'm going to be able to open my cooker and wow, the aroma in the kitchen is just amazing. So I'm going to give my beef a stir and it is super soft. Guys will have to invest in a pressure cooker because it saves time. I'm going to bring the flames to high so that I can reduce my beef broth halfway and then I'm going to be adding in the rest of the teriyaki sauce together with my cornstarch. So I'm going to add in my cornstarch to my teriyaki sauce and then I'm going to stir in until the cornstarch is fully combined in the teriyaki sauce. Once the sauce has reduced halfway, I'm going to add in the rest of my teriyaki sauce remember this is a one pot recipe so i'm going to stir in the teriyaki sauce into the beef and then in about 30 seconds the sauce is going to thicken up so you're going to cook the teriyaki beef for another two minutes so that the sauce can cook and thicken up resulting to a very delicious teriyaki Keep watch over your pot because we don't want the sauce to burn. After two minutes, I'm going to serve. Wow, just look how glossy the teriyaki beef is looking. Nice. Garnish with some toasted sesame seeds and fresh spring onions. This teriyaki beef turns out very tender and flavorful every single time you try out the recipe. It's sweet, it's savory, which makes your taste bud tingle every single time you have a bite. The beef is best served over some rice or mashed potatoes and trust me, it's going to be so delicious and just worth it. Catch you on my next episode.